Hello, growers. I'm Dr. MJ Coco from CocoForCannabis.com. We publish articles, tutorials, and guides on the science and practice of growing cannabis. And I conduct independent grow light tests as part of our comprehensive grow light guide. Today I'm testing the MediGrow EZ8. It's a high powered LED bar array that can light up a 5x5 foot space. With 1,000 watts of power, it can deliver ultra high PPFD up to 1,500 micromoles per square meter for growers with supplemental carbon dioxide. Growers without supplemental CO2 can get excellent results with the MediGrow EZ8 in a 6x6 foot space or a 5x5 foot space at 80% power. This light sets a new all-time record for cost efficiency. It is the best deal in horticultural lighting that I know about. I think all sorts of growers will want one. So I'm going to run 5x5 foot PAR tests for growers with and without supplemental CO2. And I'm doing a PAR test premiere giveaway. If you're watching during the live premiere, you have a chance to win this MediGrow EZ8. Guess the three-digit winning number and put it in the chat. If you missed the premiere, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can be part of the next PAR test premiere giveaway. The MediGrow EZ8 arrived in a large, interesting box. It came with straps and corner protectors. A large warning sticker looks ominous, but they just don't want you to plug it in before it's assembled, and you should always avoid touching LED chips. All right, I got the box open. Let's see what we got. Of course, it comes disassembled. This is going to be a pretty big fixture once it is assembled. There are eight of these LED bars. Metagrow is a newer brand, but they are quickly establishing a solid reputation for quality fixtures at very affordable prices. I reviewed the Metagrow Fold 8 a few months ago. I was skeptical of the incredibly low price, but it performed very well in my tests. Over the last several months, I've heard from dozens of growers who are happy with their Fold 8s. Metagrow has earned my confidence for the quality of their fixtures and customer service. All right, the box is unpacked. I laid everything out so we can take a closer look. There's the central chassis with clips to hold the bars. Here are the eight LED bars. And we also have a hanging kit, an RJ cable to daisy chain multiple fixtures, a power cord, and clips and a power adapter. The EZ8 has 2,880 diodes distributed among eight LED bars. There are 2,816 full spectrum Samsung LM301Z Plus diodes with a color temperature of 4,000K. They add an additional 64 red diodes to make the total of 2,880, or 2.88 diodes per watt. The drivers are housed inside the central chassis. They are designed by Medicro and manufactured by Sosen. The LED bars each have these clips on the top, and they clip into the brackets on the central chassis. They're color-coded so that you don't try to put them in the wrong way. Very simple. Happily, you can release the bars by pressing on these tabs. It'd be tough to flip over after it's assembled. So I'm going to hang up the chassis, and then I'll attach all the bars. I have to just insert these clips. They provide a wire hanging kit, but I'll use my ratchet pulleys for the par test. Now that the chassis is hanging, I can attach the bars from the bottom. Just click all the bars into place. Be sure to line up the purple sides on the bars in the chassis. They click in easily. It's a very quick assembly. I connected the power cord. And we have light. A lot of light. This is a 1000 watt LED. At full power, I expect it will exceed our normal limits for light density in a 5 by 5 foot area. It is primarily designed for growers who use supplemental carbon dioxide. With extra CO2, plants can handle more light. Growers without supplemental CO2 have options. It will cover a 6 by 6 foot area, but in a 5 by 5 foot space, I think we'll have to dim it to get the PPFD under the 1,000 micromole per square meter threshold. I'm excited to test it, but the diodes need to stabilize first. While they warm up, let's check out the published stats. This is the product page for the EZ8 on the Medicro website. You can see that it is a 1,000 watt light, and they recommend 5x5 or 6x6 foot coverage. The price is almost unbelievable. A 1,000 watt LED bar fixture for only $700. And on top of that, we have a 10% discount code. Use code CCFC on Metacro.com and you can pick up an EZ8 for only $629. And that includes free shipping. If it performs as I think it will, this is the best deal in horticultural lighting. We'll see. Down here, they provide more stats about the EZ8. They claim an efficiency of 2.7 micromoles per joule. With 1000 watts, 
This equals a PPF of 2,700 micromoles. Let's take these data and run them through the Cocoa for Cannabis Grow Light calculator. This is our tool to help growers analyze grow lights. It focuses on the important metrics and allows you to make better comparisons. In the calculator on the right, we load all our tested fixtures. You can see the data from my test a few months ago with the Metagrow Fold 8. With discount code CCFC, you can get a Fold 8 for only $589. That is an amazing deal at only 36 cents per micromole, but I think the Easy 8 will beat it. I'll use the calculator on the left to enter the data we got from Metagrow.com. They stayed in power draw of 1,000 watts. With discount code CCFC, the price is only $629. And now I need to enter the PPF or efficiency data. The calculator provides options for different types of PPF data. The source of the data from Metacro was not clear, so I'll assume it's a calculated value. They claim an efficiency of 2.7 micromoles per watt. That would be 2,700 micromoles, but we discount calculated PPF values and estimate a usable PPF of 1,979 micromoles. The calculator may be deducting too much. I expect that the photon efficiency will be similar to the Fold 8, but the calculator is estimating only 1.98 micromoles per watt. Even with those low estimates, the Easy 8 shatters the cost efficiency record. 32 cents per micromole is easily the best price that I have calculated, and it could be even better than that. I gotta go run some tests. To start, I'm going to run the Metagrow Easy 8 at full power in a 5x5 space. I have it all set and I'm just verifying that it's centered and level. As I expected, the PPFD at full power is well above our prescribed limit of 1000 micromoles per square meter. I adjusted the hanging height and found a maximum density of 1500 micromoles per square meter at a height of 42.5 centimeters, about 16.5 inches. For growers with supplemental CO2, 1500 is the maximum PPFD that we recommend. If you're running PPFD this high, your carbon dioxide PPM should be almost as high. With 1500 micromoles per square meter, you should have 1200 to 1500 PPM of CO2. Running supplemental CO2 and ultra high PPFD can maximize the return to space. However, it is not more efficient in terms of energy spent. Furthermore, it requires you to be on top of your game with all other plant parameters. But if you are running CO2, you'll want to have dense light to take advantage of it. The Metagrow Easy 8 looks like it is the most cost efficient way to get that dense light. Let's check out the PAR map from this CO2 PAR test. You can see the ultra high density light in the center of this map. There are values above 1300 micromoles per square meter in the center region. A large portion of the canopy is above 1,000 micromoles per square meter. Around the periphery, the densities are still high, 800s along the sides, high 600s at the top and bottom, but the corners do dip just below the 500 micromole per square meter threshold at this hanging height. In a large-scale array, the edge and corner values would be higher, but in a single fixture grow, it's hard to avoid a drop-off. Any way you look at it, this is a lot of light. Let's run the numbers. The hanging height in this test was 42 and a half centimeters, about 16 and a half inches above the sensor. That was the height that produced a maximum PPFD of 1500 micromoles per square meter. The average PPFD across the canopy is an impressive 939.8 micromoles per square meter. In a 150 by 150 centimeter space, that average equates to a usable PPF of 2,114.5 micromoles. This is indeed higher than we estimated with the calculator. The power draw during the test was 965 watts, which means the Metagrow Easy 8 ran with a usable photon efficiency of 2.19 micromoles per watt. These are great numbers. Given the purchase price, they're incredible. But a lot of home growers don't use supplemental CO2. Without it, your plants would be toasted by this much light. You could put the Easy 8 in a 6x6 foot space at a higher height, or you could dim it to 80% for full coverage in a 5x5 foot space. I'm going to test that. Dimming the Easy 8 to 80% only reduced the maximum PPFD to 1200, so I had to raise the height. I have it up at 55 centimeters, about 21 and a half inches. And the maximum PPFD here is exactly 1,000 micromoles per square meter. 
For most home growers, we do not recommend using supplemental CO2. In order to get the CO2 levels required for ultra-high density light, you need to seal the space. And without exhaust, you need to use air conditioning and dehumidifiers. It's energy intense and expensive. Furthermore, there is plenty of carbon dioxide for photosynthesis already in the air. A ventilated space is more practical for most home growers. Instead of conditioning the air in a sealed space, you just continuously exchange the air, usually powered by an exhaust fan. If you run an exhaust fan while your lights are on, you should respect the 1,000 micromole per square meter PPFD limit, which is how I set up this test. If you have a 5x5 five five or 6x6 six six foot ventilated grow space, the Metagrow EZ8 looks like it's going to be a great lighting option. Let's check out this PAR map from the 80% PAR test. This is an excellent 5x5 five five PAR map. With only 80% power, the maximum PPFD is 1,000 micromoles per square meter, and much of the canopy is in the maximum production zone, above 700. The corners are the only areas below the 500 micromole per square meter threshold for prime photosynthetic efficiency. But almost all 5x5 grow lights struggle in the corners. And these corners are really close. Growers usually want to run their lights at full power, but running the light at 80% has advantages for efficiency and longevity. Given the low purchase price, I think this is an excellent option. Let's run the numbers. In this test, I dimmed the Metagrow EZ8 to 80% and I raised it to 55 centimeters, about 21 and a half inches. That got me a maximum PPFD of exactly 1,000 micromoles per square meter. The average PPFD of 717.4 micromoles per square meter is perfect for grows without supplemental CO2. That average translates to a usable PPF of 1,614.1 micromoles. At 80% power, the EZ8 drew 735 watts, which means the usable photon efficiency ticked up to 2.2 micromoles per watt. Dimming the fixture improved the efficiency, but raising the height attenuated the gain. These are great PAR test results. I also measured the temperature and did a complete dimming test. Let's check out those data. In the Kogo for Cannabis Grow Light Guide, I publish complete test reports for every fixture that I test. Here's the main data from the CO2 part test with a Metagrow EZ8. You can find our discount codes and shopping links. Remember, discount code CCFC gets you 10% off on Metagrow.com. That makes the price for the EZ8 only $629. It sets a new record for cost efficiency at only 30 cents per micromole. I think this is the best deal in horticultural lighting. But nothing beats getting it for free. The winning number for this Metagrow EZ8 is the discounted price, 629. If you're watching during the YouTube premiere and you guess the closest number, congrats. You just won a great, big light. And if you missed the premiere, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can be part of the next PAR test premiere giveaway. Below the PAR test data, the PAR map, and the grow space calculator, you'll find my written review. The Metagrow EZ8 is an incredible value. It has a lead efficiency and produces a ton of light, and it costs only 30 cents per micromole. The Metagrow fixtures have bargain prices, but they perform well in my tests and have impressed the growers using them. After the CO2 PAR test, I measured the operating temperature. With a power draw close to 1,000 watts, it will put out some heat, but the EZ8 runs at a good temperature. The LED bars reached a high of 54.2 degrees Celsius, 129.6 degrees Fahrenheit. The chassis with the drivers hit a high of 57.1 degrees Celsius, 138.4 Fahrenheit. If you run it at less than full power, it will run cooler. The Metagrow EZ8 can be controlled by an external 0 to 10 volt controller. It also has an onboard dimmer switch with preset positions at 40, 60, and 80%. I tested the onboard dimmer and found it to be very accurate. The maximum PPFD percentage is within about 1% of the dimmer setting in each position. The EZ8 has a lot of power, and that gives it a lot of flexibility for growers with or without supplemental CO2. If you think the EZ8 is just too much light, you might consider the Fold8, which is somewhat smaller. It can also light up a 5x5 space, and it produced one of the best PAR maps I have ever made in a 4x4. I know growers may be skeptical to purchase lights from a newer brand, but I'm confident in Metagrow. 
I've had a lot of experience with them over the last several months. And if you should ever have an issue, please feel free to reach out to me. The EZ8 passes all of my tests. If you're looking for a big light with a little price tag, it's the best deal. At Cocoa for Cannabis, we always put the growers' interests first. Our goal is to provide impartial, science-based testing and reviews for home growers. You support our work when you use our codes to purchase grow lights. I'd like to thank Shirley at Metacro for sending me the EZ8 to test. And thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And turn on your notifications to be alerted for the next PAR Test Premiere giveaway. I hope you stop by to visit us at CocoaForCannabis.com. You can read our articles, chat in the chat room, join our grow challenges, and try your hand at the Grow Light Calculator. Learn all about our Grow Light giveaways on the Deals and Discounts page. Grow your own, but don't grow alone. Let's grow together. I'm Dr. MJ Coco, sending all of you grower love.